Okay, I don't know how well you all will be able to hear me because I have the air conditioning running here in my studio and in the house. So it probably sounds like I'm sitting next to a jet engine right here now. But uh, it is hot as balls here today, and I am not turning off the air conditioning. Now, I have to turn the air conditioning off to do a regular video, so I'm not doing a regular video because, you know, once all this gets all sweaty and moist, it not not a pretty thing and it doesn't stop very easily so can't make a regular video day so I thought I would take a chance to answer a couple of questions uh, the question mainly is what is the gun at the end of my videos a lot of people I guess because I'm getting a lot of new viewers now are wondering what is that gun well that's Gary Gary the Glock uh, people who have followed my channel for a long time know who that is uh, and people that know who he is have been asking me do I still have him well yes I still have him he is currently locked in a security box in the back of uh, my Jeep right now and he knows what he did so don't ask why but uh, he's locked out there so yes I do have him. now people that are familiar with Gary from a while back have also been asking why is he no longer black? Is this some kind of Michael Jackson thing that's going on? Well, no, this wasn't a desire to be a uh, non-black gun because black guns matter. He had a reason why he is now OD green and silver. So I thought I would take a chance here today since I can't film a regular video. Is I will just post back to back the three videos that show you how Gary went from being a black gun to the OD green and stainless monstrosity that he is today. So enjoy these videos back to back here while I go try to cool off. You know, tonight I'd like to take a moment to make a video about why I'm so much better than you and why you're just jealous. Well, one, my amazing bone structure. Two, my sparkling personality. Three, my... Uh, can I help you with something? Good. Well, it appears to be a letter. I guess I should read it. Dear Sir, We are afraid we have bad news about your friend Gary. It seems your sweet, innocent Glock, that doesn't sound like Gary, has quite the taste for hookers, gambling, and booze. Yeah, that's Gary. But doesn't find it necessary to pay his debts when the bill comes due. This is unacceptable. Your friend will remain here as our guest until all debts are paid. I would hate to see any harm come to our mutual friend. With this, I am sure you would agree. If you would like to assure his continued good health, I would suggest you leave 5,000 unmarked rounds of 9mm in a briefcase by the dumpster behind the Denny's on Martin Luther King Boulevard by midnight tonight. Just in case you are unclear on the severity of this situation, please accept the contents of this envelope as proof of our intentions. Yours truly, the Sig Mafia. I know there was a Sig Mafia. <gasps> Scary slide lock. Oh my God, I gotta do something. I can't let any harm come to him. We've been together for so long. Well, that's all we know. So we'll just have to wait for SHOT Show now to see if we can find out anything further with one really nice. Oh! That damn peanut butter. I said it this guy. Ow! Mother! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I mean, I'm sure tomorrow will be fine. I mean, what are they gonna do to him tonight? It's, it's a weekend. Yeah, you know, nothing's gonna happen to him tonight. <laughs> This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little
<laughs> Why? He was so. He was so. He was so. Yeah, what are you gonna do? As much as I hate to be the bearer of bad news, I'm afraid I have to come in front of you tonight and let you know that Gary the Glock is no more. Uh, unfortunately, through no fault of my own, his uh, own torrid past has caught up with him. Gary had a love of all things carnal in life, and it did not end up serving him well. I think I speak for everyone, well, those of you that didn't actually have to live with him, in saying that he will be missed. And uh, it's really unfortunate this happened, but like I said, he kind of brought it on himself. Uh, he got involved with the SIG Mafia, didn't work out well for him in the end. In fact, they worked him over pretty good. I mean, his uh, frame is shattered, his slide is cracked, his barrel is bulged, and I think all you fellas out there can know how painful that can be. Uh, there's just not much left of him here. Uh, this package today was quite a shocker. Uh, now, we'll have to say that his firing pin seems to be intact. Uh, his trigger group, you know, it seems to be completely intact, and we all know the uh, heart and soul of a Glock is his trigger group, but uh, other than that, everything else is destroyed. But like I say, trigger group's intact, uh, firing pin's intact. In fact, all of his internals seem to be uh, pretty okay. In fact, Yes, Glock, this is world famous internet operator Nutton Fancy. Please send me free shit. Um, uh, dudes. Well, that should do it. All right, Gary, we did everything we could. Let's get these bandages off of you and see how you look. Go look in the mirror. See if it brings back any memories. What? No, you're being crazy. You do not look ridiculous. No, you do not look like a $3 whore. No, you do not look gay. Well, at least not super gay. Uh-oh. Now, Gary, let's be reasonable. Don't... Ooh. You're welcome. Hey, get away from my wallet. real dad.